Welcome back to another episode of Jailbreak Overlander. I'm Richie. This is Jailbreak. You are looking at the rear of my truck. I have gotten a ridiculous amount of messages on Instagram as well as YouTube asking me what it is that I carry in my vehicle when I go from Boston to California or the East Coast to down south or anywhere. So what I did is I made a video for you. I laid everything out. I hope you enjoy it. Check it out. Okay, to start with, this is a rear drawer system that I built myself. I used locking sliders. I rhino lined it. There's two drawers. It works out really well for me. I used birch plywood and I used metal. I TIG welded the metal so that it was a lighter frame. I was going to make a slider for the fridge. I have a Dometic 65 CFX, but the Dometic slide was actually cheap enough and it was really strong. I also have an extendable wits end cord so that there's no tangling etc now on both sides in the rear of my truck I have Yoda tech gull wing doors and these things are phenomenal as you can see I've got all sorts of stuff mounted to them each one has a first aid kit on either side each one has a fire extinguisher on either side on top of the rear drawers, I mounted these airplane tracks. I believe I got them from uh, Equipped One. I have my binoculars. I have my extreme air compressor in the rear. I will get back to that. On the side of my rear drawers, I have all of my electronics. There's a fuse panel in the rear, a blue C, as well as a 12 volt gauge, voltometer, etc. up top. That's for my vaping mod. I recharge batteries while I'm on the road. My WeBoost desk antenna that I use for my WeBoost reach. And way over yonder on top of my lithium battery is my Red Arc BCDC 1225C. I am upgrading my 700 watt in sine wave inverter to a 1500. That is the WeBoost reach. And this is the Rely On 100 Amp Hour LT Lithium Battery. I have it tied into the Red Arc. I have it tied to a Flaming River shutoff. Safety first on all this. All of this. So this is the front of my rear drawers. I have a magnetic cover that pops right on. I drilled some holes in it. They're speed holes. They give you a better gas mileage. I'm just kidding. Just to let it get a little ventilation. But that's what it looks like when everything's all buttoned up and I'm getting ready to hit the road. You see this little area right here? This little wasted area on the side. Well, this little wasted area, I keep a lot of stuff. I have an Overland Taylor ground tarp. I have my chair, recovery gear, fluids, and a tire kit. All of that fits in that one little opening I just showed you. And I'm gonna show you what's inside these Blue Ridge Overland gears bags because all these bags are from Blue Ridge Overland gear and yes it all fits in that little what appears to be wasted space so check this out inside this backpack bag I carry all my recovery gear I drive a Land Cruiser so I almost never need it but I have a snatch block a D-ring I also carry the straps that allow you to turn this whole bag into a backpack which is pretty phenomenal because if you're stuck at the top of a hill or the bottom of a hill, carrying this bag is a whole hell of a lot easier if you simply throw it on your back. 
I'll leave links to Blue Ridge Overland gear in the description down below. I carry a monster bubba rope with me. I carry a 30 foot strap, tree saver, pretty much everything. But again, I drive an 80 series. I almost never need recovery gear. But if you need it, it's always there. Nice and easy, nice and clean. I carry gear for other people, mostly. Inside this bag, I have all my spare fluids. Royal Purple Gear Oil, Brake Fluid, Tranny Fluid, Tranny Fluid, and Toyota Red Coolant. All of these bags fit right in the side. They don't move anywhere, and I forget that I have them until I need them, which is exactly what you want. I also carry a nice little folding chair I picked up at Overland Expo. But check this out. In the tailgate, I have a wagon gear tailgate hatch. The stuff that you can fit in here is amazing. This is entirely dead space unless you have one of these bad boys. You pop the locks. I have tie wraps, wire ties, metal wire ties, stainless wire ties. Folding camp chair the springs for my rooftop tent one of the best shovels in the world this high lift high lift jack makes this this thing extends out into a full size real shovel i carry bolt cutters my sven saw this thing will eat through a tree like a beaver or worse a pump in case you got a siphon and it's an 80 series, so I carry my hub socket. All my spare belts, including supercharger, tire iron, and birch bark from the Northeast. It's the best fire starter there is, hands down. I also carry another folding shovel. Redundancy is everything. Supercharger went wrench from Wits End, and the usual, some gloves, some rags, etc. It all fits in the tailgate. I forget about it until I need it. And it's all in there. And it doesn't weigh hardly anything. Do you see what I'm saying? Beautiful. So on the passenger side, I have my Extreme Air Magnum. And you can see in the rear quarter panel, I have the Wits End quarter panel insert. And that's where all the controls for the Extreme Air are mounted. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you. I appreciate your time. Check me out on Instagram. I am out. Hit that like button or don't.